We could be making a stupid decision right now, but I'm happy about it. We'll explain. I'm always traveling, I'm a college senior, and I literally just days ago moved into my first apartment. Yes, I know, it sounds like the worst time to buy a pet. This could be one of the stupidest decisions I've ever made. But when a girl has something on her mind, it stays. <laughs> This happens so freaking weirdly quick. Once we get Stu. Stu is his current name. I think we might change his name, but once we get Stu Bear, we'll share the story of how Stu Bear came to be. This could be one of the stupidest decisions I've ever made, but I'm fine. I'm fine with it. It's fine. When we pulled up, his little head popped up. Oh, we got Stu Bear. Okay, we named him Rylo, R-Y-L-O, middle name Stu. Ry for short. He was acting a little bit nervous in the car, and then next thing you know, we pull up to PetSmart to get all the necessities because we have nothing for him. And um, he had shit on me and in the car full liquid shits, so. <laughs> what do we do in this predicament? What do we do? Darius is going in to get Stu a leash from PetSmart and some wipes to clean this up, and then we'll continue the fun, but. Welcome home, Stu, you shit on your mom. I don't know. Oh, these are cute. Yeah? Oh, he's too small. Yeah, he needs a bigger one. What bed? I don't want to just say this one. This one is a pretty decent size bed for him. Get bigger. Right, let's see if he likes it. Extra large, bro. Dude, come here. Oh. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, he no. He does not want to even try it out. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care. Oh, look at him. Is that your bed? Is that your bed? He, he, lays, he lays on the floor. I think he likes the cold part. But he won't walk. Like, look at him. Look at him. His name is official now because we're putting it on his name tag. We have R Y L O. Continue. Which one should we do? This one? I'm kidding. Oh, it's hot. I know. When I tell you this whole story, you're not going to believe me. Let me just start off by saying that right now we are pulled over the side of the road because we have a flat tire and that's not even the worst of what has happened to us. I am gonna start with the story first, the wonderful story of how we even got to getting Rilo. I've always said when I move, cause I literally just moved into an apartment, my own apartment. Last week I've always been like, okay, when I move I'm gonna get a dog. I was supposed to go to Miami today at like 6 a.m. in the morning and I told Dara so I was like, hey, like kind of joking, but like kind of not. I was like, get me an Australian Shepherd like while I'm away. So I said that a couple days ago. And yesterday I find this random website and I'm like looking for dogs near me. And then I see these Aussie Poodles, which is what Rilo is. So it's half Australian Shepherd and half Poodle. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I thought I wanted an Australian Shepherd. I was like, this thing is so cute. Let's 
get him. I contacted the guy and I totally didn't think he was gonna answer. And turns out literally this morning, the guy calls us back and I'm supposed to be getting stuff done and then going to Miami and my later flight, which was supposed to be at 6 p.m. now today. And the guy's like, well, could you come get him today? And I'm like, no, like that's a stupid decision. We haven't thought this through, but I need to go get him. So I was like, fuck it. It was one of those decisions. So that is the last minute story of how we somehow ended up getting this dog, but I love him. He is such a good dog already. It's the cutest thing. We drove an hour and a half to get him, got up there. It was a very simple, easy process. We got him. He's so cute. Here is where you think it's a happy ending and it hasn't been yet. So then we go through PetSmart and then it was time to head home. So we had an hour and a half ride home. Now, there were two foreshadowing events here in PetSmart. One was we went and we almost didn't get puppy pads. And we were like, we need to get puppy pads because what if he poops in the house? So we got puppy pads. We thought the puppy would be the one using the puppy pad. I'm currently sitting on a puppy pad. I'll explain that later. Secondly, this lady is like, oh yeah, when we got our dog, like on the ride home, the dog just started throwing up because it was car sick. And I was like, ha ha ha, foreshadowing. So we're driving. We're about 20 minutes into our ride home now. And he throws up all in his little bed in the back seat back there. He's a little car sick. We get out let him out, trying to clean the throw up off the bed. Then I realize, as I bend over to pet him, TMI again. And I have nothing else with me. I'm wearing white pants. So what do I do? Because there's nothing in a 20 mile radius. I take the puppy pad. Sorry to have to share these details with you. Then we're like, oh my gosh, the next hour is going to be horrible. We have another 30 minutes and here we are. Darius's tire has gone flat. So he's here putting on a little donut for the last 40 minutes of our ride. Boy, do we have a story. I just can't wait to get all freshened up, cleaned up, introduce him to the house, set up all his stuff, get him situated. Can't wait for everyone to meet him. He's four months old and he just lays in his little bed and he's the cutest little thing. Right, Rilo? What's wrong? What are you doing? Say, I'm a good boy. We've got ourselves situated from my past uh, expenditure, but we're heading to my grandmother's house where Marie, my sister is, my mom and my grandparents are. And then my family dog, Coco, and my grandparents' dog, Luca, is. They're all going to meet little Rilo for the first time. Marie has been Marie literally texted me when I sent pictures and she was like, I will be home at 5.20. He better be there at 5.20, bring him there. It's also good for him because he loves the grass and he'll actually have a fenced in yard to run around with other dogs. So we'll see how he does. He also does not know how to walk on a leash. He just lays down everywhere. He's doing better now. There's the puppy. Oh. Rhino, who's that? Like yeah, he just doesn't know how to walk. Oh no. No, I don't think so. He's just probably alerted. What was that? Oh no. Hey. Be nice. Look at his spine. Yeah, no. Hi, Will. What are you. You know how. You know how crazy these. Can't wait till he gets big. I feel like nobody says that with puppies, but for him, I just want to see how big he's gonna get. Milo likes his new home, huh? He is not gonna like this, but we have to give him a bath because he smells like horses. We're gonna give him his first little bath. We got so much stuff at PetSmart. I mean, honestly, since we just moved in this place, he has more furniture than I do. I got like a two-in-one shampoo conditioner. This is the shampoo we got him. Buttermilk and linseed. It's for puppies especially. He's gonna smell good after this. It doesn't smell too much. Rilo's first bath. See, I'm being a good boy. I was very interested to see how he would do with the bath, but he's doing great. He like doesn't bark. Like it's crazy. I'm interested to see what he does when he's drying off because I know my family dog Coco runs around like a crazy lunatic. Yes, he's a good boy. He's all clean. Yeah, the good, good rolls. Soapy. 
No, he does not want to be wet. I gave him his food. He liked it. I gave him every single treat I bought him. He liked it. I'm trying to learn the whole dog thing. This has been so last minute, but I do not believe in getting animals and not giving them the attention. But I want to show what I got from PetSmart for Aussie Doodles. There's not a lot of information on Aussie Doodles because it's a newer breed. I'm kind of pulling from what Australian Shepherds need and poodles. So I think I overdid it but that's fine. I got all this and this isn't even all of it. This is all the food I got him, his actual food. I got him this puppy pedigree because it goes to a year and a half and it's chicken and vegetable flavor. What I was reading was that for Aussie Doodles, they need a lot of protein, vegetables, and then some, some starchy vegetables, healthy carbs, just a little bit, and some healthy fats. And then they need oats for some reason. I kept reading that. I guess we'll feed that three times a day. I also got some wet food. Food. This is the wet food we got, lamb and rice, because I wanted to get some carbs in there. And then I got some just chicken and beef. I got a lot of different treats, because I couldn't stop myself. First off, I got these bones. It helps with teething. These are little mini training rewards, so we can teach him how to sit, pull, dental sticks. I know these are good for your dog's teeth. He already loves these. I gave him one. Special treats. They have oats and cinnamon, and I kept reading that he needed oats, so that's what made me buy these. And they're like the cutest little, like, little literal cookies and I did give him one of these. He likes them as well. This was completely just a full splurge purchase because it's September 1st today. The Milk Bones Spooky Biscuits. There's little bats and ghosts and I think like a pumpkin, Frankenstein. The boy has a lot of treats and for those treats I got this cute little jar. I want this to maybe sit on this window. Probably put it right there. So that's the food I got for his bad this Burt's Bees wash. These, a lot of the stuff I bought was the brand top haul and these are too. They're deodorizing wipes, vanilla bean scent, so I'm gonna use this more for his booty and his paws just before he comes in because I have a lot of white in here. This pet stain and odor remover from Simply Nature's Miracle because I'm sure he's gonna have some accidents. These little puppy training pads, waste bags to pick up his poo. And then this is his leash. It's the brand Top Paw. Put his little waste bags in here and it goes right on the leash. Harness, it's the brand Calm. Thought the army green was super cute or in his color. He's a little too small for this right now, but it's a medium. He'll grow into it within a week or two. I just don't like when it's only pulling at the dog's neck. This is his little top paw collar, which I'm sure he'll grow out of very soon. His little name on the name tag, Rilo. That's the bulk of it besides the fun stuff. This is also the brand top paw. I thought it was a super cute bed and it matches him. And then we got him a bunch of toys. I got him this little squeaky sheep. I'm not gonna squeak it right now, but he really likes it. This little tug of war toy. Yes. And of course the fall toys got me. I got him a squeaky candy corn. And then this is the food bowl I got him. I think that covers all of your shit. Milo? Sometimes the most random things are just what you needed. I'm so happy to be able to bring you home and live this life with you, Rilo. Welcome home, buddy. And just like that, I fell in love. This is only the beginning of my time with little Rilo. In the next episode, I take you through my first week of classes. With some added distractions, of course. Is this your morning cuddle? This week was jam-packed with home runos and decor. Rilo's first training class. Where are we gonna hide? I'm over right here. Hello. <laughs> and a surprise visit by the one and only. You. Let's just say it was a fingers crossed type of week, so don't forget to tune in.